Well, it's not her tree, but it is leaning on her home. What a mess. And the danger and the damage left her feeling desperate. So she called our Laren Livingston to sort it all out. It's stressing the daylights out of us. While simultaneously providing a lot of shade from that daylight, Sandra Pulaski lives in Holiday Mobile Estates in Pembroke Park. How long have you been here? In this trailer, 12 years. Driving through, the place is like a forest. Sandra says when she and her husband bought their mobile home, the towering oak tree outside was already there. What was the tree like 12 years ago? It was standing straight up. But over the years, the tree started leaning and leaning and leaning. Sandra says Hurricane Irma finally gave it a precarious push. What is this cutting I see around there? We had to do that to try and save part of our house. It already had bad leaks from where the tree was leaning and cracking the house open. It even shifted the house. She showed us a copy of the letter she sent last July to her property managers asking the tree be trimmed or cut down. Why do you not think that this is your responsibility? Because I pay a lot rent. I've gone to the office, I asked them what is the verdict on the tree, and all I got was, when I know, I'll let you know. After the hurricane, inspectors with the city and the county came out. But the county says this one needs to go. Yes. And for some reason it hasn't disappeared. And it just hasn't disappeared. It just seems like nobody knows. I read through Sandra's lot lease, which says residents are responsible for maintaining trees on their lots and their general care. Another section notes trees must be removed by residents as part of the required lot maintenance. It the whole house. But minutes after we showed up, as if by fate, were TV cameras. I just heard from the top. Are you Marlene? Yes, yeah, sir. Lara, Channel okay. 10, nice to see you. Please, okay, you don't have my authority. Sandra's property need. manager showed up no, with their tree trimmer. I, I do tree service for these people I'm here. sure. And we can't, we, we're not allowed to cut an oak tree without a permit. Which is true. In Broward County, a tree removal license is required to remove a tree unless the tree poses a hazard and there's documented proof. The county says Sandra's tree met the hazard exemption in September when inspectors came out. I have the information for you, the proper person who could talk to you Please. about it. Please, I was planning come to come to by office. the office. We're still waiting on that representative to return our calls, but after our visit, Sandra got this letter from her mobile home park's attorneys. While Holiday Hallandale is not legally obligated to remove the tree from your lot that is encroaching on your mobile home, we will nonetheless in good faith be hiring a licensed and insured tree removal company to remove the tree. All in good faith, and we know the work has started to not just cut back the limbs, but remove the tree altogether. We'll let you know when that work is finished. All right, good work, Laren. And do you have a problem you want to leave to Laren? Send an email to Laren at Local10.com. That's L-A-Y-R-O-N at Local10.com. Laren gets it done. Yes.